Hi, I'm Jonas Knudsen and I'm a rider for Polonia Pila in 2024. It's hard to start thinking from, uh, from when I was zero, but uh, how my life started was pretty much um, me and, uh, me and my, my cousin Mads Hansen, which also is a rider nowadays. Um, we started in Skabik, 10 minutes away from home, where I'm from is Woa. It's a village, small town, village, yeah. Only 200 people live there. It's just outside the Ribe, which is a little bit bigger, but uh, maybe 25 minutes from Espia. I think more people know Espia. Uh, I started on three-wheel bike. Uh, he started on two wheels. We just rode and rode and rode. Um, wasn't really any good, but we had a lot of fun with it. Uh, we got together with the family all the time. It was great fun for my family, for me. Um, and then as everything went on, I. Uh, I, I started to become a little bit better uh, on, on the PVs, 50s, but uh, never really um, had in mind that it's going to be full time. I, I just had fun and uh, yeah, later on uh, I started on the 85s. Uh, I was really scared actually to ride the bike. I met uh, a guy called Henrik Frimod and uh, he took me, uh, took me in, helped me with bikes and uh, was a mentor for me basically. Uh, before every match, every practice, we go in the car, we talk about um, a teddy bear. Uh, and the teddy bear was in my stomach because that's the thing when I was nervous, we call that the, the teddy bear. So uh, we talked about that before every match. I still have uh, very good contact, uh, contact with him. Uh, um, it's not on the same level as he, he was before, but I think I would never be uh, nowhere in Speedway without uh, Henrik in, uh, in my life because he, he helped us with everything. And I have a brother also, you know, it's, it's not easy to, to start the uh, Speedway to two guys and, uh, you know, have, have a regular family because motorsport is not, uh, it's not cheap. Um, but he made everything happen for me and my brother and, uh, and uh, here we are. One day when I, I think I was 13, um, I make uh, two really, really good passes in, the, in one heat, uh, tight passes, and uh, after that, it was like everything was gone. Uh, I had more, um, you know, will to, to, to ride. I, I, I was more passionate about it, and um, uh, yeah, it's starting to, to do really good. I wouldn't say it's uh, where I thought about being professional because uh, I was still young, uh, but I had more fun because now I start to uh, like win more races, achieve uh, more race, more things in in speedway, in junior speedway, and um, you know I become I become a little bit better, um, and you know everything was just funny, and uh, this guy helped me a lot, and he st he started to help me more with equipment and. Uh, you know, we speak every every day uh, nearly, and um, you know everything. Everything was fun, and uh, uh, I enjoyed racing. I think uh, from my mom's side, it's it was the best thing maybe it could happen, and also from my dad's side, of course. But when we started the st started the speedway, he also wanted uh, me and my brother to ride horses with my sister, and uh, luckily my sister is. Uh, is the is still riding horses, so he, he can enjoy it that way. But uh, uh, of course, he's now uh, every uh, speedway means everything for him and for for me and Jesper to do good in speedway. He he all the time travels with us. Uh, last season, last couple of season, he's been as a mechanic for me, um, and uh, you know he works from nine to five every day, and then. Uh, go with me and my brother to Speedway, so he he basically never sleeps, but uh, he enjoys it and he wants to do it. Sometimes I tell him to relax, but uh, he says he says you can sleep when you're dead. 
what I would be with if I'm not a speed rider. Probably, I don't know, maybe riding horses. Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. I, I enjoyed playing football a lot when I was younger. Um, so I probably play football and have a normal life, working with my hands, something like that. I'm not intelligent, so I probably wouldn't go uh, go to school all my life. I I probably would work with my hands a little bit more. So. I think uh, many things need to to click. Uh, I think I'm not maybe not mental strong enough for the extra league yet. You need to be both mental and have good equipment and uh, to be in the extra league. I've now I have, I have had a few test matches with um, with Falubas and uh, I feel good now. Racing against the big guys is uh, it's helping you. Uh, like clear, clear the mind when you go to the tapes with uh, other riders, but um, of course I want to be in extra league in a few years, a few years time. But uh, it needs, it still needs to hap happen a lot, and I need to improve my riding skills a bit more. And uh, you know, maybe one day I, I don't look at it as I need to be in extra league now, uh, next year, and two years time. It happens when it happens, and if it happens, you never know. It was actually a, a thing in my my own head because last year I was riding on and off in Denmark. This year I didn't have any contracts in Denmark, and uh, I think now is the time to try and uh, try something else in my life and uh, move to Poland, where speedway is the biggest thing. Um, and everything make, made a little bit sense when I have two leagues now in, in Poland, and to to have my main uh, base in. In Poland, and then uh, that's why I, I decided to move to Poland and right here, and, uh, and then in in the UK also.
Pila is 100% something I will look back at, at as uh, my uh, push into the uh, Polish Speedway uh, last year. When I started there, uh, they, they signed me and they didn't really know me, I think. Uh, they said and um, we came to the first practice and uh, I have really good speed and uh, the, the manager from last season really believed in me. So he, he used me a lot during the season and I ha have some good meetings in Poland um, where I didn't really have good results uh, in Denmark and England. I, I have some matches here and there was good and, and Poland was more consistent. Uh, and I really enjoyed my race in, in Pila and uh, you know it pushed me, pushed me to become a, a little bit better and motivated for making this my, my lifestyle. And, um, I 100% uh, think that Pila was a big part of uh, me, me becoming a bit more serious about the sport. I think uh, Pila is uh, it's a good city. It's um, for me it's uh, it's a little bit far from the airport, so it's a, it's a long run to the airport all the time. Be before I moved to Pila, I, I I didn't have any contracts in the UK, so everything was planned. But um, now now that I have a um, contract in the UK, I I fly a lot from from. Uh, Rochlaff and Krakow, so I think the plan is to, to get the base down and, and close to, to the airports I'm flying from all the time. But so far, yeah, I, I enjoy Pila, it's a, it's a nice city. Um, not a lot is, is happening in, in Pila, but, but I enjoy it. It has a few shopping centers and uh, good restaurants, so you can, you can enjoy life and, and have fun. I like, I, I like to go to the go-karting. Uh, I like to go to the uh, little beach area you have. It's, uh, and now it's, of course, it's not been really opened because of, um, of winter, but uh, and I also just walk around uh, close to the river and uh, they have the park, nice park with the football, basketball and everything. So it's a, it's a good little, uh, yeah, good city. Yeah. Mm, I think it's um, it's pretty much the same now. I, I have not interact so much with Polish people, but um, the ones I I uh, speak with, it's open-minded guys, very helpful, trying to sort things for you. And you know, I think it's similar people. It's uh, really nice people, uh, both in Denmark and here. But it's it's still it's a little bit harder to get used to. Um, to stay here, but uh, I'm getting there. Ah, I wouldn't recommend anything different than living in Denmark. It's, uh, I would just, I would say it's, it's pretty much the same. It depends on what lifestyle you're really doing. If if you have something to do with it, do it. Um, if it's only for study or something like that, you wanna you wanna get a little bit away from Denmark. It's it's a nice uh, it's a nice place to stay. It's Poland is. Like really beautiful country now, and it's becoming more and more beautiful as the years goes on. And uh, uh, I, I, I like to be here. I think it's a good place to be. Everything from my side was a little bit more under control and in Denmark I know where to go, I know where to buy the stuff I need but here it's a little bit, it's harder, not so, 
not so many people is uh, speaking English and um, uh, when you when you're buying food is uh, it's hard to read Polish uh, but uh, I'm I can see there's a chicken on the on the on the package so I, I buy that main thing about the chicken is it's already cut and I don't have to do it keep it simple <laughs> Again, keep it simple. Don't waste time cutting it, or whatever you call it. Yeah. I am more into mayo, but uh, ketchup is more healthy, I think. I don't know. Bon appetit. Of course, you, you grow up a little bit more. You live in basically on your own. You don't have any anyone around you. Uh, um, like back home, but then uh, I think you become more mature. You you learn by by a lot uh, of the mistakes you do, and maybe something it's uh, also good and you, and you never knew about. So yeah, I I think it's a good step for me, and uh, I would 100% look back at it uh, where everything started for me basically in Poland. Of course, I also have U24 uh, league in the. Uh, in, in Leszno, but uh, I think the biggest step was uh, Pila. The advantage is about P uh, Poland, not Pila, but Poland in uh, total is, you know, less tax. <laughs> no, uh, no, it's it depends. I think on what what you're doing in uh, in your life. Speedway is everything for me, and uh, Speedway is the biggest in uh, in Poland of all the countries. Um, so that's why I took the step to go, and uh, a lot of people can help you. Uh, uh, help me f with training, with uh, everything about speedway. You know, you just—I just live speedway now. And with, when I was home, it's a little bit more uh, just a regular day, you know, normal day. Um, of course, some may make it happen, and uh, some likes to do it uh, in another way. Uh, I just try it now. It's a big step for me, and. Uh, what I would say it's it's hard about Poland is of course the language. It's uh, not many English-speaking people. Food is maybe a little bit better back home. <laughs> it's it's not bad here. Yeah, I like it here. It's uh, but when I used I'm used to to Danish food, so I, I recommend it. Uh, I know it's. Uh, I have to ask you about girls. Uh, Danish girls are more beautiful than Polish girls. What, what do you think? Danish girls is the best, I think. More beautiful. I think we have to stop this. <laughs> uh, no, no. I, I think it uh, depends on what you want. Yeah. Uh, I like, I like, uh, I like the girls back, back in Denmark. It's Scandinavian girls, yeah. Blonde. Yeah, everything doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Of course, we're gonna use it. Uh, it is the most important part of our interview. So my typical day was wake up, go to uh, the gym with uh, my first with the MMA class with with one trainer, and then after that went home, uh, got got some breakfast, a little bit to eat maybe a little bit of a power nap if I still was tired in the morning. 
And then in the middle, later in the, uh, before, just before dinner, go to a second uh, training with uh, another trainer. And then back home from that, either I, I spend some time with uh, someone from the club or I, I just go on the, eat some dinner and the, or the, the, go to the restaurant and the, after that just play some PlayStation and then eat, sleep, repeat. It was pretty much the same every day. Uh, in the winter, now the season has started, there's, there's a little bit more to do. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, lonely? No, I don't. I don't think so. I have sometimes um, a few days off Speedway, and uh, I don't really do anything. I, I can. I, I spend my time going to the gym with uh, my trainer, and um, and also. Uh, when I come home, I, I, I jump back on the PlayStation and uh, I, I can always speak with my friends from, from home. So it's not really, I, I don't really feel lonely, but um, we have Speedway nearly every second day now. So I speak with people and uh, if I felt lonely, I, I, went, to, I went to the track and uh, I speak with my good, good friend from the, from the, from the club. Uh, Damian, the club mechanic, uh, he's I'm getting really close to him and uh, I uh, enjoy spending time with him. So if we didn't have anything on both of us, we uh, we watch something together and uh, or do something together, me and him. I never regret it. Uh, it's something I always wanted to try, to, to go to Poland and live um, uh, and have everything in, in, in Poland. Uh, but. Sometimes it's hard, you miss family, but it's, it's not a big problem. I call them and I see them many times during Speedway. It's my mom. Oh, okay. okay. Can, can I pick it up? Yeah, we won't understand anything. Hi. Well? No, I'm going to sit with the camera and hold it in the bin. No, mine. 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 You just said my brother broke his thumb. I think in the future I would like to go back home. Because that's my... My family is everything. My friends, family and... It's in Denmark and uh, I don't think they're going to move to Poland to, to just stay with me. So I think I have to come back home one day and, and you know, live in Denmark. It's where I'm from and I think it's where I also belong pretty much. Uh, I like to be in Poland. It's not like I, I want to get away from Poland straight, straight away. It's something I enjoy and it's a, it's a new chapter and I, and I I'd love to see where this takes me. Uh, I want to stay here as many years as I can and uh, one day maybe go back, back home again. <laughs> <laughs>